Hello friends, welcome to Intro on YouTube channel and learning session of learning Python with the intro. In this video, we will see what is an polymorphism. So as name suggests everything, poly means many and morphism means form. So polymorphism is nothing but deriving the many forms, forms from one. So polymorphism can be basically achieved by two ways. That is first is overloading and second is overriding so in this video we will see what is an overloading and in the next video we will cover what is an overriding so we all are aware about the overloading because everyone here have done already the ccpp or sorry cpp and java in that we have covered the concept of overloading so firstly let's try to implement that concept here it will be like class my class name i will give as add so here I will define one method some self I have to pass and here suppose I want to pass two parameters that is a and b and I want to do the addition of that so here is my r secondly what we used to do again the same function with the same name but the different parameters like a comma b comma c we used to do and r we will do as a plus b plus c and what we used to we used to do the object of the class like obj is equal to add that is our class so here is my object ready and we used to call both the methods and we used to differentiate them by using the parameters like obj dot term if i will pass here two parameters so this so here this call goes to this method because there are two parameters and here also we are passing two parameters so now we will pass three parameters and let's check some one comma two comma three so this concept we used to do in the cpp and java and what newly we will do in python so i will explain this later in this video so what we used to do we are passing now three parameters so this call will go to here because here are also there three parameters and here are also there three parameters now let's try to run our program and check the output so here it gives an error what is this sum missing one required positional argument c so now let's cut this first so this concept we used to implement in this way in cpp and java so i am telling this because to not to make you confuse so this we have done in cpp and java so python doesn't support the overloading so whatever the function or method is created at the latest will be considered as a final so this is a latest method we have created this is early method we have created and after that we have created this method so this will be considered as a latest method and here we are passing the two parameters but here there are three parameters so we can see that this is of no use this will be not considered at all so our program will be like this inside so now we are passing the two parameters to this this sum but here are three parameters required so it's giving error now let's try to cut this and now check our output and we will see how we can implement the overloading concept in different way so we should give it in print we can do here also print r we want the result that is R. and here is our output that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 so we have seen that whatever the method will be created at the latest will be considered as an final so how we can implement the overloading so what you can do initially you can assign all the values to none so a i am assigning to none b also i am assigning to none and c also i am assigning to none so I will take here another examples few more obj dot sum I want to call and I want to pass just two values in next case I want to pass the three values so in the python in the concept of the overloading so there does not exist basically concept of overloading even though we try to achieve it while achieving that and single function performs the different task so here i am passing so what we mean by this definition we will see through an example so in this case here we are passing three parameters so here initially all the values are set to none 
so now we will give here if condition that if so what in this case happens this one will be assigned to this a this two will be assigned to this b and this three will be assigned to this c so all the three parameters are being assigned to this a b c so here we will give condition like if a does not equal to none and b does not equal to none we will do and c does not equal to none if this is a true condition then program should come here that r is equal to a plus b plus c because we are already passing the three parameters so it should do r is equal to a plus b plus c so this satisfies for this three parameters so what in the case for these two parameters so this one will be assigned to a this two value will be assigned to b and c remains as it is that is none so here we can give if condition if like if a does not equal to none and b does not equal to none so if we are passing the two parameters we should give condition like r is equal to we should do here a plus b so here i am doing r is equal to a plus b so we have seen how we can satisfy the condition for this object now what in the case if we are passing and simply one value so so this one will be assigned to this a and b will be as remain as it is that is none and c also will be remain as it is like none so here you can give directly else condition that else if there is an one parameter just r is equal to a so assign this a value that is one will be assigned to this a and assign that a value to this r and finally what we will do we will return r return r we will give this all in the print and we will execute one by one and we will see how it works so here also i will make as print because we are returning and taking the value here so here is my done with the print for next here also i should add print and here we are done so what we will do we will firstly put this second and third in a comment so here we are putting this this in comment now let's run our program so here is our output for three parameters so parameters which we have passed are one two three and here is our output that is six now next three what we will do we will put this first and third in comment and we will execute code for two parameters so for the first one two three will be assigned to this a b c and this condition if condition gets satisfied and r is equal to a b c will be performed for second one two will be assigned to a b and this if condition gets satisfied and r is equal to a b will be performed now let's check so here is our output that is one plus two is equal to it will give three what in the case if we are passing simply one parameter so now we will put this second in comment and let's try to run code so here is our output that we are passing one and in return also we are getting just that value so now we will remove all the comments and we will run all the code together and now let's try to check our output that here is our output that is six it will be for first obj dot sum and for three parameters the output will be one plus two plus three that is six that this condition will be executed for the second print that is second function calling this if condition will be executed because here we are passing the two parameters and here also a and b will be assigned to that two parameters and if we are given condition with a does not equal to none and b is also not equal to none so that condition gets satisfied and this if condition will be executed and finally for one parameter this else condition gets satisfied r will be assigned to a and it will be written so we are getting this as an output that is six three and one so thank you friends and keep learning